Hello, welcome back to Cami Designs, and today we're going to do um, part three of our crocheted towel topper. And so where we left off is we just, we did their decreases here and on the edge. So we kind of have this little loop here going. And what we want to do is you want to now connect it to your first single crochet. And by doing by how you do this, I should say, is you just want to slip stitch it. So you go in and then pull it right through your loop. And now you want to chain one. You just want a single crochet in each around. And I go into this first one that we connected to. And then you just want a single crochet all the way around. It's pretty easy. You're now working, you're going to start working in a spiral. And I am using an H hook, five millimeter. And this is a uh, Premier just yarn um, at the Dollar Tree. And this is a Dollar, Dollar Tree towel. Um, so you're now you're just going to single crochet all the way around. And you're going to do this, just continue to single crochet all the way around for about six inches, depending on how long you want it to hang. But you want it long enough that you can fold it over and put a button on it, and that um, it will fit whatever handle you are going to hang it from. So I'm coming around to my first ones here. Okay, now here is this one here. And now I'm not going to crochet into this linked one or into the chain one, which is right here. I'm going to go right into that single crochet. And you'll notice I'm not putting a stitch marker because I'm not marking the beginning of my round. I'm just working in the round. And now I'm just going to keep doing this all the way around until it measures six inches. And I will show you kind of what I mean by that. So here's one that, oh, that's really dark. Let's go <laughs> to this one here. This one I already did on, it's the same towel because I cut it in half. So here's the first one. And it's got this lovely button that my husband actually made for me. I think he did a really good job. Um, but so here's where you start your working the round, and then you want to go six inches, and then we will do the button portion, the buttonhole portion, and then I'll show you how to show sew the button on. But I wanted it big enough that I can fit the handle in it and it's not too tight. So that's why I say six inches. If you want it smaller, you go smaller. If you want it larger, you can go longer. But the next video I will show the buttonhole and then sewing the button. But this video is just working in the round. So I will do one more row here, or one more round I should say. And you can kind of tell where you started. It's not a big deal. But you know you started right here at the at the seam or at the fold and you can see i'm i'm kind of holding it so i don't have to keep spinning it so i've got my hand kind of inside it here so i can guide my stitches this way oops i almost hooked that other one But it's just single crochet, so it does go pretty fast. Um, and this will give it the double thickness. Um, but I like. And now I don't have to skip any because I skipped that one down there. So I just go into each one now. And that is it 
for this video. It was very short. So now I just work this all the way around for six inches and it's done. So that was part three of the crocheted towel topper. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe and share with your friends. Um, cause these are really easy to make and they make wonderful gifts. Um, especially this time of year where people, um, give gifts and, you know, spend time with family. So it's, they're really, um, really simple and easy to do. Um, once again, like, and subscribe. And if you want to be reminded when my videos come out, um, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button and YouTube will let you know when I have a new video out. And that is it for this one. So have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye!